In this video, we're going to look at nudge settings and how do they affect the different transformation types. So for edge snap, for scale snap, for grid nudge, for grid scale and for Z sphere, the nudge settings are always the same and they refer to grid units. I'm just going to select grid nudge here. Let's look at this. Right now, my grid visibility is at centimeters. So if I have these at centimeters, and I nudge my subtool, and I have all selected here, so I'm just gonna do selected now, and I'm just gonna solo this. So if I nudge my subtool, it will nudge by one centimeter, one grid unit. And if I select millimeters, even though my vis grid visibility is set to centimeters, I can still nudge by millimeters. And there you go, there's a millimeter. Now this slider here will tell me the percentage of the selected unit that I want to move by. So if I have centimeters and I set this slider to 0.5 and then I nudge, it will nudge by half a centimeter. Now these buttons here, they simply set this slider to a certain position. And the positions we have is 0 0.5, which is what we have now there, which alpha unit, one unit, 1 1.5, which is three divided by two, two units or four units. So if I move by four centimeters, I'll be moving there by four centimeters. Or if I go to millimeters, I'll be moving by four millimeters. So like I said, these controls here are used for all these different modes, these four first modes, transformation types, and for the Z-sphere transform transformation type as well. Go to unmask mask center. This, when this button is pressed, every time you do an operation, for example, scaling up here to that size, your pivot goes to the center of your subtool. This is not pressed, and I do a scale operation, your pivot stays in exactly the same place as before. Notice that you still have these two buttons, set nudge driver and which nudge driver is set at the moment. But this is just for rotation, as we spoke about in the rotation video. View nudge has a different type of nudge settings. And when we talk about the view nudge transformation type, we will get to that. Tool nudge and tool scale have a different type of nudge settings. And here, instead of referring to the grid, we are actually referring to the nudge driver. So if I set this cube here to be my nudge driver, and then I use an operation like tool nudge and I want to nudge this guy. I'll be nudging this guy by the width of that nudge driver. There we go, by the set nudge driver. The width is almost a unit as you can see and that's, that's how much I'm, I'm nudging by. Of course I have these buttons so I can select half the size of the nudge driver I can select a quarter, an eighth, and a sixteenth. Or I can just do the exact amount in this slider here. And the same thing goes for tool scale. So tool scale also uses the same type of settings.